Okay then, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at a laptop which I just bought today. This is actually going to be the a laptop which I am going to be using for college. Even though I only have one year of college left, but still, I need a new laptop for college because you may remember I have a Lenovo idea pad laptop and that is actually beginning to drive me round the bend like for instance the bloody trackpad died and I mean I'll go and get it now so that you can have a look at it see what abomination so then This laptop here is replacing this. So, this is the IdeaPad 120S, and I suppose it served me well, but I think it's time for an upgrade, don't you think? So, this is the Fujitsu A Lifebook A series laptop, and this thing has. Um, this is actually uh, pretty overkill actually for what um, I want to use it for. Um, so as per usual when I have a look at computers we have a look at the I.O. ports. So on this side, also you may notice that there's a bit of a crack there. I did get this laptop second hand for about £100 which is at to be honest this laptop is probably quite expensive brand new so I'm well happy with this and you'll see why when we have a look at the specs of it so here we have charging port, Ethernet, HDMI, USB 3.0 and USB Type-C which also does charging as well which is good and then we have a SD card reader a full size one as opposed to the Lenovo's micro SD card slot and then here we have a combo headphone and microphone jack and two more USB 3.0 ports and a DVD drive which I am well happy with it's very rare for a oh the aquarium light just turned off as I was saying it's very rare for a laptop of this era to come with a DVD drive so that is a welcome bonus very happy with that um, nothing much to see on the bottom apart from labeling and so the specific model is the Fujitsu Lifebook A3511 which is actually I don't know much about the Lifebook series but I think the A series is like a more uh, mid range because we'll get to the specs when we turn it on. I wonder if we can go into the BIOS. Well, then, that is actually quite an interesting BIOS. This is like the classic BIOS that's been around since ages and it has a mouse in it, like this is weird. So here we have the Lifebook, it's the A3511 and the processor is an 11th gen Intel Core i5. 11 35G7 at 2.40 gigahertz, and then we have 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is a massive, massive upgrade over this thing. This thing only has an Intel Pentium with 4 gigs of RAM. What an upgrade! What an upgrade that is. So, yes, uh, now we'll be showing what the BIOS looks like. May as well just Turn it back on, watch it boot into Windows. Loading times pretty fast. So 
who were greeted with a stock Windows 11 experience. Quite a high, um, high resolution screen. It's a night. It's a 1080p LCD panel. I'm not sure whether it's TN or IPS. I think it might be TN. I don't know. What I could do is I could um, if I if there's a way I can blimmin turn the display brightness all the way down and that although I guess a good way to test it is by looking at the viewing angles oh actually it does appear to be IPS that is that is good actually it appears to be IPS as opposed to the TM panel of the Lenovo so let's actually have a let's open the We'll go DX Diag because that gives you a full summary of the whole system. So then, there's our 11th gen i5, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and also it has a one. No, not sorry. Forget I said one. Um, it has a 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD as opposed to the 64 gigabytes eMMC of the Lenovo. So as you can see, uh, display, it does have Intel integrated graphics but if I'm doing college work on this thing I don't need a graphics card. Or a graphics processor. I just need a simple laptop for use in college. In fact, I think 16 gigabytes of RAM is probably a bit overkill, and plus a Core i5 is probably a bit overkill for a for doing college work on. So what we can do is we'll shut it down now and then we can have a look at the bottom because there's something I want to show you make sure it turns off first and there we are so now we can just flip it over and when I got this there is a screw missing here so I'll have to find one that fits but I guess it doesn't matter because this is clipped in anyway so Right here, we have our upgradable memory. So at the moment, it's currently maxed out with 16 gigs of RAM. Um, I don't know whether 16 gigs of RAM was its stock configuration or whether it was upgraded during its lifetime. But and there, and there we have our NVMe SSD right there and a removable battery, which can be accessed by. Um, see this uh, handy little lock here you put that like that and then the battery just handily lifts out like that which I think is really handy so put that back down there and then lock it into place there you go SSD is screwed in but you can easily get a Phillips head screwdriver and just take it out and then the RAM is very easy to remove all you have to do is just take this out like that and then to reinstall the RAM you just put it in click down very very handy I don't know whether or not the CPU is upgradable um, I don't know to be honest whether the CPU is upgradable but uh, I don't need to upgrade the CPU in this because it's already a bit overkill for what I need to use it for. In fact, I kind of think that this laptop is more powerful than my main desktop machine right there. And I will probably compare the two actually. See which one performs the best. This laptop here or my main PC over there. And uh, 
might run some benchmarks to uh, see. But the thing is, though, I think I think my main PC has a more powerful graphics card because you got to remember this still is using Intel's integrated graphics as opposed to my AMD RX 580 that's in my main system. So. All in all, pretty nice machine. Let's boot it up again. Fans rev up a little bit. Pretty fast boot time. I was going to compare it to the Lenovo, but I think I've actually left it open with some of my college work on there and I don't really want to show that so I, I get, but it's obvious though isn't it this is much faster and more powerful than the Lenovo if you're wondering what I'm going to be doing with the Lenovo probably give it to give it away to someone maybe do experiments with it maybe try and install in another operating system like Linux or even another version of Windows, like an older version. If you haven't got the hint as to what I might do with this laptop, have a look at this sticker. Study it. There you go. That might be something fun to try, wouldn't it? So yes. And it runs Windows 11 like a charm, really does. So I hope you um, just realise the camera wasn't centred properly with the laptop, but that doesn't really matter that much. Anyway, as I said, I hope you um, like this new laptop. I mean, if you've got any comments about it, then let me know. And uh, I shall catch you in the next video. Goodbye.